I tell all new moms that the most important thing is to remember it's all about supply and demand. In order for your body to know it needs to continue to make breast milk, you need to empty your breast. You can either do that by having your baby latch and nurse for 10 to 15 minutes on each breast every two to three hours during the day, or you can empty your breast with a mechanical pump or a hand pump. It's also important for moms to remember they need to eat and drink plenty of fluids in order for their body to be able to make milk. Sometimes latch can be an issue. Uh, if that is the case, ask to speak with your local lactation consultant. There might be a nurse in the nursery that could help you or even your pediatrician. That first hour after birth is called the first period of reactivity for the baby. And basically what that means is that baby is just very awake, very active, very receptive. And if you plan on breastfeeding, that is the number one time to do that because that baby is so receptive and ready for what you have to offer. It's very normal in the early days and even up to six weeks for your baby to cluster feed. What that means is your baby might want to latch every five minutes for two or three hours, usually in the evening time. This is okay. It does not mean that you don't have enough breast milk. It just means that your baby is trying to bring in your milk supply. If your baby's having enough wet diapers and enough poop diapers every day, then you have enough milk and your baby's getting enough. Breastfeeding babies tend to gain weight slower, um, but they also gain better weight because breastfeeding is better for a baby having uh, antibodies. Uh, but formula fed babies tend to overeat sometimes and they will gain weight a little bit quicker. But as long as it's not too fast, it's still healthy. For moms, it reduces risk of hypertension, diabetes, cancers, um, and it also increases bonding with baby and reduces the rate of postpartum depression and anxiety.